Wubba lubba dub dub pen friends, it's the end of October which means it's time for fun tricks and delightful treats. Thankfully, you can feast all you want on these zero calorie pen treats we have in store on our monthly top five pens list. All right, so before we get to the top five, I'd like to show you what we've been working on for the last few months. Fresh off the presses, we have the latest issue of the Gold Spot Pens magazine. This 64 page edition is like the yearly toy catalog for pen enthusiasts. If you've ordered from Gold Spot Pens in the last year and are located in USA, you can expect a copy to arrive in your mailbox during the first or second week in November. Even if you aren't a recent customer, you can read the digital version for free on the Goldspot website. If you prefer the analog experience, and I know pen people do, you could buy a copy to add to your order. Links to the digital and physical versions are in the description below. Now to the list and a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during October, 2021. This isn't our personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five this month is the Pilot Custom 74 Blue Stone Fountain Pen. And when it comes to providing a premium writing experience at an affordable price, no one does it quite like Pilot. See, a Custom 74 is highly regarded as a great intro into gold nib fountain pens. And the Blue Stone is actually the last of three new Custom 74 colors introduced in 2021, of which the first was Forest Green and then Grenadine Red, uh, which were the other two styles of demonstrator fountain pen. And the Custom 74 differentiates itself because it's got this nice sort of muted blue, you know, resin. It's not exactly very vibrant. Uh, it's more translucent than anything, but it's also paired uh, with smoke black front grip section and the barrel and cap finials as well. The Blue Stone translucent resin is paired with rhodium silver trims and a rhodium finished 14 karat gold nib. The demonstrator body allows you to see exactly how your pen works. You could see on the inside of the cap, uh, it's a little bit darker in there, but you could see that there's an inner cap sleeve that keeps the nib fresh in between writing uh, sessions. And there's also the barrel allows you to see then the converter that's included with the Custom 74 is the Con70 push button vacuum filling converter, uh, which is actually preferred by most pilot pen enthusiasts because it has a larger ink capacity and is easier to fill generally speaking than the Con40 converter. Uh, of which I would agree. I, I do like the, the Con70 converter is, is the better of the Pilot converters. Uh, it writes with a 14 karat gold nib. It's a number five size. They say number five, but it's Pilot's pro own proprietary number five, so you really can't switch another number five on this. It's available in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad nib sizes. And like I mentioned, it's it's a great writing nib and it's a it's a very affordable a fountain pen with a gold nib. The retail price on these go for $200, but we have them on sale 20% off for $159.95. And since this model's introduction earlier this month, uh, we've sold out and we're actually still waiting at the time of the recording of this video, we're still waiting for more inventory of the Blue Stone to arrive. So this is, uh, I think, the one lone extra find that we have left. Uh, but we also did run a special promotion on the Custom 74 when this pen launched uh, that you would get a free bottle of Pilot Iroshizuku ink included with your purchase of the Custom 74, which was a weekly dip special, so it's no longer a valid special. But it's one of those things that you would know about if you were signed up to our email newsletter, which of course there's a link in the description below if you'd like to do that. But uh, that's a great opportunity to be able to add this pen to your collection or to upgrade if you were always used to writing with stainless steel nibs or entry level nibs and you want to take that next step up uh, to a beautifully writing gold nib. So here's your number five of the October 2021 top five pens, the Pilot Custom 74 Blue Stone. And number four on our list is a pen so popular I don't even have one to show you in this top five video. It's the Narwhal Nautilus fountain pen. And Chris is going to help me out big time by showing some B-roll or perhaps cutting to part of a video that we created earlier this month to introduce and give you a first look at 
the Narwhal Nautilus pen. Uh, and it was launched back on October 8th along with another pen that made this top five list. It's a Narwhal's first ebonite fountain pen, and it's also a much larger pen than the other Narwhal models. Actually, you know, not larger and more so in terms of like length, uh, but more so in girth because like the shape of the Nautilus pen is similar to, let's say, like a submarine. And it's kind of got like that steampunk sort of submarine look um, because on the barrel, you've got three portholes that are trimmed in metal and allow you to see the ink level inside your pen, just like an ink window would. There was available in two different black ebonite finishes, one that had antique bronze trim, which was called the Corridoras. And then there was the ruthenium black trim, which was cephalopod black. Uh, so you had those two versions and they just went completely like they sold within that first weekend they were available and at the time of this recording we're still waiting for more stock to come in so i know you know oh for two so far with the top five in being able to talk about pens that we could actually have in stock for you to buy but i do know that more are coming and we're hoping that it'll be coming sooner than later so hopefully by the time you see this video there will be some available. It has a number six size stainless steel nib made in-house by Narwhal, and the sizes available would be fine, medium, broad, double broad, and possibly at a later point, a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. And much like the Narwhal original or school kill models, the Nautilus also operates using an inbuilt piston mechanism that you would operate by turning the blind cap. And uh, this is kind of a calling card to Narwhal, even though they've introduced this year the Key West pen, which had the cartridge converter. They're back to producing a high-end luxury fountain pen that operates using a piston fill mechanism. And as this pen is a bit oversized and also has ebonite as its main component for the construction, it does command a little bit more of a higher price point than what you're usually used to seeing with Narwhal pens, um, but it doesn't seem like it's a concern for most people. So they're easily spending the $120 price tag on both the black models that we had available. And on top of that, there's going to be another model called uh, Pelugia Noctiluca, which is a very beautifully colored, it's got like purples and like cream colors. It's got a whole bunch of different colors going on with it, but that's also made at Ebonite and that will retail for $160. So you can find them when they become available at goldspot.com. And as your number four of the top five pens for October, 2021, the Narwhal Nautilus Fountain Pen. At number three on our list is the Retro 51 Sleepy Hollow Limited Edition Rollerball Pen. This is Retro 51's popper uh, that was a real treat in October. It has a matte orange glow-in-the-dark lacquer body with glossy black printed graphics. It's inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, of which his gravestone could actually be seen on the design itself, which I thought was really fun and enjoyable. Uh, it, but it also has the iconic headless horseman that appears in the story. And it also has a jack-o'-lantern, a menacing looking jack-o'-lantern at the top disc as well. And the body is complemented beautifully with glossy black trims, clip, and top ring where you could find the edition number that's engraved on the top ring here. Uh, the edition of which, by the way, is 1031, which is the day of this preview or this viewing of this video, uh, October 31st, which is totally appropriate for this design here. Sleepy Hollow is also packaged in a matching commemorative Retro 51 tube that also acts as a cool pen stand if you'd like. Also available to match the Sleepy Hollow pen was a special edition rickshaw pen sleeve uh, that matches this design as well. And that was sold separately, uh, but it has been sold out as well as the allocation for Sleepy Hollow, unfortunately. So now I'm 0 for 3 now. Uh, the Sleepy Hollow sold out within an hour. So it just was, it was by far the best Retro 51 popper we've had this year. Uh, it, it definitely hit on the theme. It was beautifully executed and just an overall a very, very cool pen and your number three of October 2021. At number two on our list is the Narwhal Original Peter Draws Signature Edition Fountain Pen. And you guys are probably going to be very upset with me because this is now the fourth pen on this list that's not available in stock. Um, however, the first two though, the first two will come back into stock. Uh, but as of the recording of this video, 
this signature edition has completely sold out. This was a edition that we actually launched back in September. You remember it was number one on our top five list in September. And we just had just a little bit more carryover in October and finished the entire run at that point. Uh, this is an exclusive collaboration with YouTube superstar illustrator and author Peter Draws. It is a follow-up to an edition we produced earlier in this year, uh, which was the first, the first model was more of a demonstrator with black whirls. It kind of plays on Peter's line art drawings where he has a very organic uh, sort of ability to uh, draw and illustrate and, and makes all sorts of different abstract sort of shapes. And so for the second edition, this is like a cool gray demonstrator with a gray white whirl that goes through the entire barrel and cap of the pen and it's matched with silver trims and a stainless steel fountain pen nib. It's a number six size nib, similar to what we looked at at the Nautilus pen. It's the same type of nib that's on here as well. However, these were only available in fine or medium point. And it also has the inbuilt brass piston mechanism uh, that you would also find on the Nautilus as well. To make this limited edition truly special, Peter created this beautiful artwork that you see printed on the top of this special edition Narwhal box. It is a original drawing he just created just for this purpose. Uh, it says Peter Penn Signature Edition there. And the artwork was also used for a special thank you card that was also included with every Peter Draws Signature Edition fountain pen. And on the back side of it, he individually signed all 1,000 plus cards, of which this edition was limited to uh, 1080 pieces. And you would see that edition number on the very top of the cap finial here. It's engraved, um, and then you would have the, uh, the whatever number that your pen was uh, with 1080 over the top of it. And besides the thank you card, you would also receive this piston wrench that you would then be able to use in your Narwhal pen to detach the piston uh, to do some thorough cleanings. And I've gone on, I probably sound like a broken record, but you don't need to use the piston wrench every time that you clean your pen. Uh, it's only really meant to be used when you have like a particularly bad stain or that you're noticing performance issues in working the piston up and down the pen. Now, sadly, the Peter Pen Signature Edition is all gone. It was originally selling for $60. However, you have to know at this point, being that we've done two of these pens with Peter, that there shall be more grandbabies, as Peter calls it, grand drawings, being made by more of his pens in the future. Uh, just as a matter of time, till things get worked out with Narwhal, designs get approved, and manufacturing commences. So I'm not promising anything in the short term, probably looking to 2022, but as always, stay tuned, and maybe we'll see another Peter Draws pen sometime in the near future. So there's your number two for October 2021, the Peter Draws Signature Edition Fountain Pen. At number one on our list is the Retro 51 Amadeus Rollerball Pen. This was made in collaboration with yet another YouTube superstar and social media penfluencer, Mr. Penboy Roy. Now, besides being into pens, Roy is also a graduate of a musical conservatory. I wonder if you knew that about him. We discussed the story of how this pen came to be at length in our YouTube video that we posted earlier this month to launch the pen. So TLDR, Roy loved the Retro 51 Beethoven pen so much from last year, but couldn't get over the fact that it was misnamed the Emperor, which was not a nickname for Beethoven, but was kind of in reference to one of his works that he produced. Uh, so to right this wrong, he collaborated, we worked together, and, and he said, you know, we need to come up with a pen that truly honors Mozart in a way that is accurate and really kind of encapsulates the classical movement at the same time. For the sheet music design on this pen, we went with Eine Kleine Nacht Music, which is an iconic Mozart sound. Like if you've listen to classical music. You don't even have to listen to classical music to know this song. It's just, it's just the moment that it comes on, it's just you make that connection with it, but you may not have known maybe it was Mozart. Um, but look it up. It's pretty much like, you know, that first thing that pops out. Like kids, like babies even listen to it. It's just so permeated into our culture. Our worldwide consciousness just knows this song. So the, the color scheme is burgundy. It's a deep burgundy with gold notes on here and uh, black 
uh, lines that they have here for the staffs. And, uh, and it also has Ina Kleina Nock music uh, on top here with uh, you know, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And this pen is, is trimmed, complemented with antique brass accents with the numbered edition at the top ring. And this one will say proof on it. However, the final numbers, uh, it was a numbered limited edition of 525 pieces of which the 525 is actually the, well, K525 is the Cochill catalog number for Ina Kleine Nacht music. So Cochill catalog is kind of like this overarching catalog of all of Mozart's work, and it numbers them each one through, you know, however many, it's like, I think 600 plus of them. So 525 is significant to the piece of music that we chose on here. So each pen was actually numbered K001, through K525. So you would see like that it would be different than your usual retro numbering where you would just see 001 of however many. This one would have K001 of K525. So uh, it was a little bit unique in that aspect, but we want to really play into the authenticity of this design and just really, you know, make that deep connection with uh, music and particularly with classical music. And at the very top, we have a portrait of Mozart uh, done uh, in not by Roy, but by uh, by Richard over at Retro Fifty One. He was able to illustrate the the top portrait that's here, uh, which looks pretty cool. I think it just ties everything together. Like I've seen with other pens that honor uh, great artists uh, throughout history. I like the fact that you throw a little portrait on there. It, it really does. Uh, tie, I think, the whole theme together. This pen was originally being sold for $45. It included a capless rollerball refill, the Ref 5P, as you've commonly seen on these uh, top five videos. When I take apart these rollerball pens, you'd have the capless rollerball refill. It is also compatible with either the uh, Schmidt uh, P900 uh, Easy Flow refill or a Parker style type. Uh, refill of which you could purchase separately, uh, but it does include a black refill to start. It uh, has the commemorative uh, packaging like the Sleepy Hollow. Uh, you would have the ability to make this like your little pen stand on your desk. And at $45, this sold fairly quickly. And at the time of this recording, we have like less than 10 left. So I am really sorry for anybody that was looking to go and buy a pen using this top five video. And I mean, it just kind of goes to show you that I'm not just selecting things that we need to sell. Uh, I'm just telling you that these were the most popular things being sold on goldspot.com. And it just happens to be that this month, everything was just out. I have, I have nothing for you. I, I'm sorry. I can't even sell you on, on this pen because probably by the time this videos out there, it, it will be gone. So the lesson here being, definitely follow us on socials. Make sure, keep a close eye on these special edition drops or any of the new pen releases because sometimes it, it may not last very long, especially in this environment right now that we're in, um, you know, buying for the holidays and things like that. We've been telling people it's not just a sales gimmick. It's saying, hey, if something's really popular, hop on it right away, especially if you're aiming to give it as a gift because it may not be around or there might be some issues logistically getting things restocked, um, such as the case possibly with the Custom 74 and the Narwhals too. Anything has been always delayed this year. It's just a little comment about this. And I know that I know some people might be frustrated being that, hey, you're showing pens that are just not available. And that's, that's a bummer, I understand. but. Anyway, here's your number one for October 2021, the Retro 51 Amadeus Rollerball Pen. Which is your favorite from this month's top five? Let us know in the comments below. In November, we've got big plans for Fountain Pen Day coming up on Friday, November 5th, as well as on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Don't miss out on any of the new pen drops, exclusive sales, giveaways by signing up to the Goldspot weekly email newsletter. Use the link in the description below to join for free. Check out our first look at the oversized Narwhal Nautilus Ebonite fountain pen design in this video here. In case you missed it, watch the Retro 51 Amadeus launch video with Penboy Roy here. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel for more fine writing videos, how to's, and unboxings right over there. Thank you for watching, and on behalf of Scully and myself, stay inky, my friends. Take care.